Hi, it's Erin Mack again with Flip That Horse. Welcome to episode number four. We're working with our Philly Sundance. So far we've got her halter broken, she's had her very first leading lesson, and now we're going to continue our work in the round pen, developing our trust, our rapport, working on her ground manners, and some yielding techniques as we get her ready to sack her out and put a saddle on for the very first time. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start off just uh, doing a little sacking out. And when I say sacking out, I'm talking about um, using gentle repetition and other techniques to desensitize. And the purpose of this is priority one, safety. So that, for example, as I'm swinging the rope over her back and around her legs, um, it's to get her desensitized to the feeling of things touching her body. And um, the reason this is a safety benefit is because at some point um, we're going to get ready to put the saddle on her. We want her to be a little bit desensitized to things touching her body. And also when things like the girth flops down and hits her in the leg, we don't want her to be startled by that. So we start off by doing these gentle repetitions. And I'm using the rope because it's soft and also because it allows me to stay in a safe uh, position, especially when I'm working around the hind end um, or any area that might be sensitive or cause her to jump. Um, I'm in a safe spot so I start with the rope just swinging it around all her legs getting her used to things touching her and also a little bit of the noise that it makes and that way when something happens down the road and I uh, come off her or I um, take off my jacket and I have something maybe attached to my saddle on a trail ride that's flopping around she's not going to pay any attention to it and nothing's going to spook her or startle her and I always start the sacking out process um, right away and using all sorts of techniques so you'll see some of those here as I'm beginning to work with her now I'm going to ask her to move her hind end away from me and I do that by <clears throat> focusing my attention on her back leg and the goal is to have her cross her back leg near me across the other back leg and that means she's disengaging her hindquarters I'm gonna tap her a little bit with the rope there and that's another safety issue uh, in general I want the horse to move their hind end away from me for obvious reasons and um, so now I can accomplish that by just looking and concentrating at her hind end and sending along some energy through my body language and asking her to move her hind end away from me. So now we're going to um, go over some of the things we've done, swinging the rope. That's new for her, so I'm going to keep practicing that. I'm going to mix up all of these um, things that she's learned so that we're not... Um, doing one thing all the time. That gets stale and a little boring. And the more times I can repeat something, um, the better she'll learn it and the quicker she'll learn it. And it's also a good way to keep her interested and focused. Keep changing up the program so she won't get bored and think of ways to get in trouble. So when I'm asking her to move around me, you'll see I point the direction I want her to go. So my left hand here is pointing to the left while I'm swinging the rope to my right. Eventually all I'll need to do is point and she'll go. But at the beginning, I need to back that up with the rope swinging. So she's going to learn that when I swing the rope towards her, basically the middle of her body at this point, uh, I'm not being really specific. Um, that means to move forward. And that is going to come in handy in a variety of ways. Also, for example, when we start teaching her to get in the horse trailer, that swinging the rope and sending her forward is going to be the basis of teaching her to go in the trailer. So we're going to establish that now in the round pen and on the ground and get her pretty consistently moving forward when I give her that signal. So she's doing very well and I always reward her. Now I'm going to point my right hand, so she's supposed to go to the right, my right, and she's still figuring it out. And there she goes. And then I immediately stop swinging the rope 
when she gets it right. So the timing is very important. There she goes right away. So she's picking it right up and then once she starts going around I'm just gonna let her go, stop swinging the rope and then I'm gonna start asking her to change direction. I'm gonna start to ask her to change direction a little bit more frequently and that's again to keep her focused on me so that she doesn't think that we just go around in circles all day long. I want her to keep paying attention to what I'm doing and what I'm asking. So I'm going to start switching direction and she'll get better and better at that and following my, my pointing cue as she goes. So here I'm going to switch direction. So I switch the rope, point my right hand, swing the rope, and she goes around to the right. So she's getting it a little bit better. You can see she's starting to relax a little bit more. She understands what I want. And the reason she understands what I want is because I give that release instantly when she does it right. And that's very important in all stages of this training. Switch directions again. Now she's moving in a more relaxed way. Now I'm going to ask her to move her hind end around. Good girl. Mix it up a little bit there. So now we're going to practice our leading again. She's getting much better. Notice a nice big loopy loop between me and her. I do not have a tight hold on that lead rope. It's her responsibility to stay with me. The lead rope's there just to keep her from running off, but she's supposed to stick with me no matter where I go and stop when I stop without me pulling on her. So she's doing very well. Now here's another aspect to the sacking out. I have here a stick with a chamois cloth tied at the end. And I start off with the chamois cloth instead of something, say, like a plastic bag because the chamois is quieter. And for her first introduction to this, I want something that's quiet but has a little bit of weight to it. So I start off with a chamois tied to the end of this stick. And I start off holding it in my hand and just alternating between patting her and rubbing her with this chamois, which I am holding, holding down at this point so it's not flapping around. So that's how we start, and I introduce it to her head first, and then I work the rest of her body so she gets used to something a little bit more solid touching her. Now I'm going to let the chamois free and like a flag let it float out so it's making a little bit of noise and I'm going to use the stick to wave it around a little bit and this is part of sacking out so I'm just getting her used to the noise that it's making and the motion of it going over her head and also under her nose and that's going to be very helpful down the road for many reasons so now I'm going to start touching her all over her body this is part of the sacking out process Again, this is a safety thing, so instead of me reaching back there and touching her, it's safer for me to use this long stick, which is sort of an extension of my hand. And that way I'm in a safe spot in case she decides that something scares her and she jumps. I'm in a safe spot here, so this is a very good way to start sacking a horse out, especially one that has not been handled much and hasn't been touched very much. A lot of times they're very sensitive about having anything touch their body. So she's getting a lot better at it. And this point I have some, the chamois is going from her back and down to the ground. And probably many of you have seen a horse that you've put the saddle pad on and then the wind blows it off or something like that happens and the horse gets a little panicky. So that's one of the things that um, is very common that can spook a horse. So this will help with that, just going from the back of the horse down to the ground so that in the future if something blows off of her it's uh, nothing new. She'll be used to it. So all of these parts of sacking out very very important at the beginning of her training because this will all mean a safer experience for me once I'm on her back. 